today's declaration from the Mayor of Hiroshima, and it was published this morning. When he finishes his address, we'd ask you to join us in holding two minutes silent space to acknowledge and remember the huge loss of life. And I'll count that. Thank you. Hebden Royd Town Council is uh, a member of the Irish and British chapter of Mayors for Peace, which was started by the Mayors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki to work towards a world without nuclear weapons. I'm going to read the declaration by the Mayor of Hiroshima released this morning. There are three terms in it that may be unfamiliar. Two of them are Japanese. One is pikadon, which means literally flashbang, which is a colloquial term meaning the, the atomic bomb, the atomic weapon. And also hibakusho, which means, uh, is a word referring to the survivors of uh, the nuclear attacks on Hiroshima and Nag Nagasaki. There's also a reference to uh, black rain in it and areas of black rain. This is a reference to the fact that there are many more people affected by those explosions than simply the survivors from Hiroshima and Nagasaki. There are tens of thousands of people throughout Southeast Asia who have been affected by those explosions and who are victims of, the, of those bombings and who have not received support in the 72 years since those explosions occurred. I'm going to read now the statement released today by the Mayor of Hiroshima. Friends, 72 years ago today, on August the 6th, at 8.15am, absolute evil was unleashed in the sky over Hiroshima. Let's imagine for a moment what happened under that roiling mushroom cloud. Pika, the penetrating flash, extreme radiation and heat. Don, the earth-shattering roar and blast. As the blacklist lifts, the scene emerging into view reveal countless scattered corpses charred beyond recognition even as men or women. Stepping between the corpses, badly burned, nearly naked figures with blackened faces, singed hair and tattered dangling skin wander through spreading flames, looking for water. The rivers in front of you are filled with bodies. The riverbanks so crowded with burnt, half-naked victims, you have no place to step. This is truly hell. Under that mushroom cloud, the absolutely evil atomic bomb brought gruesome death to vast numbers of innocent civilians and left those it didn't kill with deep physical and emotional scars, including the after effects of radiation and endless health fears, giving rise to social discrimination and prejudice. It devastated even the lives of those who managed to survive. This hell is not a thing of the past. As long as nuclear weapons exist and policy makers threaten their use, their horror could leap into our present at any moment. You could find yourself suffering their cruelty. This is why I ask everyone to listen to the voices of the Hibakusha, a man was 15, who was 15 at the time says, When I recall the friends and acquaintances I saw dying in those scenes of hell, I can barely endure the pain. Then appealing to us all, he asks, to know the blessing of being alive, to treat everyone with compassion, love and respect. Are these not steps to world peace? Another Hibakusha who was 17 says, I ask the leaders of the nuclear armed state to prevent the destruction of this planet by abandoning nuclear deterrence and abolishing immediately all atomic and hydrogen bombs. Then we must work wholeheartedly to preserve our irreplaceable earth for future generations. Friends, this appeal to conscience 
and this demand that policymakers respond conscientiously are deeply rooted in the Hibakusha experience. Let's all make their appeal and demand our own. Spread them throughout the world and pass them on to the next generation. Policy makers, I ask you especially to respect your differences and make good faith efforts to overcome them. To this end, it is vital that you deepen your awareness of the inhumanity of nuclear weapons. Consider the perspectives of other countries and recognize your duty to build a world where all thrive together. Civil society fully understands that nuclear weapons are useless for national security. The dangers involved in controlling nuclear materials are widely understood. Today a single bomb can wield thousands of times the destructive power of the bombs dropped 72 years ago. Any use of such weapons would plunge the entire world into hell. The user as well as the enemy. Humankind must never commit such an act. Thus, we can accurately say that possessing nuclear weapons means nothing more than spending enormous sums of money to endanger all humanity. Peace Memorial Park is now drawing over 1.7 million visitors a year from all around the world. But I want even more visitors to see the realities of the bombing and listen to survivor testimony. I want them to understand what happened under the mushroom cloud, take to heart the survivors' desire to eliminate nuclear weapons and broaden the circle of empathy to the entire world. In particular, I want more youthful visitors expanding the circle of friendship as ambassadors for nuclear abolition. I assure you that Hiroshima will continue to bring people together for these purposes and inspire them to take action. Mayors for Peace, led for, by Hiroshima, now comprises over 7,400 city members around the world. We work within civil society to create an environment that helps policymakers move beyond national borders to act in good faith and conscience for the abolition of nuclear weapons. In July, when 122 United Nations members, not including the nuclear weapon and nuclear umbrella states, adopted the Treaty on the Pro Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, they demonstrated their unequivocal determination to achieve abolition. Given this development, the governments of all countries must now strive to advance further towards a nuclear weapon-free world. The Japanese constitution states, we, the Japanese people, pledge our national honour to accomplish these high ideals and purposes with all our resources. Therefore, I call especially on the Japanese government to manifest the pacifism in our constitution by doing everything in its power to bridge the gap between the nuclear weapon and non-nuclear weapon states, thereby facilitating the ratification of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. I further demand more compassionate government assistance to the Hibakushi, whose average age is now over 81, and to the many others also suffering mentally and physically from the effects of radiation along with the expansion of the black rain areas. We offer heartfelt prayers for the repose of the atomic bomb victims and pledge to work with the people of the world to do all in our power to bring lasting peace and free ourselves from the absolute evil that is nuclear weapons. start the clock for a two minute silence. Obviously in a public sphere silence isn't possible but if you take two minutes to just think about anything. Thank you.